Hello and thanks for watching this video, a series of features for Acumatica 2019 R2. So in this video, we're going to talk about corporate cards, the ability to track them, reconcile them, and use them in our time and expenses module. So in order to set them up, the first thing we do is we create a chart of account. So let's go to our chart of accounts. And what we want to do, because we're tracking this as a credit card, credit card that we use, it's a liability account that continues to accrue throughout the period until we pay it. So let's take a look at our liability accounts. And you can see we created corporate visa here and we made it a liability account. And the only caveat here is we need to make sure that in a multi-currency environment that it has a currency. So in this case, it's United States dollars. So then what we do is we go in and we create its own cash account. If you haven't done this yet, you'll need to do this. So we create a cash account for corporate visa. So in here, there's a few settings. The first is, is we're going to match it to that same chart of account that we just looked at. We're going to require reconciliation, and this is my preference, because when the statement comes in, I'm going to want to import that statement into Acumatica and then match it up. In fact, Acumatica's banking and processing bank transactions will actually allow me to use transaction rules to automatically identify transactions in the statement and hit expense accounts for me, entry types. So this saves a lot of time in recording that credit card. So I'm going to require reconciliation. I'll mark this as use for corporate cards. I'll need that later. And then I need at least one payment method here. Now the payment method itself, we'll take a look at that has a few settings that are requirements. It must be available in accounts payable. And if we take a look at our settings for AP, we don't want any additional processing, meaning we don't want it to go through a check run process. And also we don't want to check off unique payment reference. All right, so now this cash account is created. Now we'll go in and take a look at our corporate card that we just created. We'll open it up. And here, we'll give it a description. We'll give it our card number. This is our test card number. We'll match it up with the cash account that we just looked at and created. And then we'll put in all of the allowed employees that can use that corporate card. So now that that's set up, let's record an expense receipt. So we'll pick an expense item. This comes from our non-stock items or that are marked as expenses type. So we'll choose, for example, a meal. So taking customer out to dinner and the total cost there was, let's say $295. Down at the bottom, we have a few options. So this is paid with. So how did this particular employee pay for this expense receipt? So there's a few options. In the past, we had just personal account. Personal account, when released, when this turns into an expense claim and it's released, it would generate an accounts payable bill for that employee. So you can create bills in Acumatica, not only for vendors, but also for employees. The other options are corporate card personal expense. So this means I use the corporate card as an employee, but I used it for personal expenses. When I mark it this way, Acumatica creates for this particular employee vendor, it creates a debit adjustment. So I know that that particular employee owes the company money for using the card this way. And then lastly, and what we're showing today, is corporate card for company expenses. So we'll select that. At that point, we can select which corporate card it is, which we've done. And then of course you have other options here. We would drag and drop the receipt here so that accounting can see it. 
We can mark this as billable and bill it to the particular customer. And in this case, we'll save it. So now what we'll do is we could either go in and claim this, make it into a claim, or we can go into the claims and pull in the receipts in case there's multiples. As this is taking out the customer to dinner, there may also be travel expense receipts and those, those kinds of things. In this case, we just have one expense receipt for this claim, so we'll do it from here. So it brought in that expense receipt. And notice if we scroll to the right, we have our amount. We also have the customer we're billing to as it's billable. And you can see the corporate card is selected here and the expense account. Again, the expense account came from the non-stock item and the GL profile there. However, you can override this if you need to. So we'll take this and we'll submit it to accounting. And we have approvals turned on, so Acumatica is saying, well, it's pending approval. This would go into the approvals bucket of the person that is assigned. In this case, Layla would approve this. But because I'm the admin, I can approve it myself. And now that it's approved, we will release it. Now, this can be released here, but in Acumatic, as you may know, we have processing screens to do many different records at once. But I'll release it right from here because there's only one in the queue. Okay, so now this is released. Let's just take a look at the transaction that was created. Acumatica has a quick check transaction. And what that does is it allows us to make a payment and hit an expense account all in the same transaction rather than creating a bill and then paying it. So in this case, we use the cash account, corporate visa, and our expense line item here was the expense claim, which again is using the same account from the expense claim. Now, if we take a look at the GL transactions from this, we'll open it up. We credited our corporate visa account, the liability, because eventually it's going to have to be paid. It's a liability. And then we debited our expense account for the meals, GL account. So now, if we go back into banking and we take a look at our cash account details, cash account details is a great screen. It allows us to basically look at our cash account is a register. So I'll open that up. And you can see our transaction right here, $295 has been generated and we can keep track of that. Now when we go to import our bank state, our credit card statement here, we can bring this in as an OFX or a QBO, QuickBooks Online file. And that'll come right in and then we can process it. Basically matching the transactions from our statement against the transactions that are in Acumatica. But we can also create new ones. So there's, of course, going to be some credit card transactions that are not in Acumatica. In Acumatica, you can, on the fly, match them up with different entry types. Or Acumatica's transaction rules can look at the description of the amounts and pick an entry type for you. Later, when we go to reconcile this, it should match up. Now lastly, as you may know, under time and expenses, if we go to bill expense claims, as you may recall, we mark this to rebuild the customer. Acumatica will queue all these up, and if we check it off and say process, and then go to receivables and look at our latest invoice, you can see Acumatica generated an invoice for this particular customer for the taking the customer out to dinner not really taking the customer out to dinner if we bill them for it, but you get the point. So that's it, Acumatica 2019 R2, tracking corporate cards and using them in time and expenses. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.